Happy Tuesday. Today you will need your calendar. You will need your math packet. We will be doing Who Am I? And your neighborhood packet. We're going to talk about how neighborhoods change. So please get ready for the Pledge of Allegiance. If you have your flag, please get it out. Please stand, right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. All right, now, getting out your calendar, I would like you to find the top the middle and the bottom. Top, middle, bottom. And at the top of your calendar, please put your finger on the month. Put your finger on the month. What month is it? Is it May or is it June? The month is May, very good. Now I need you to find the year. The year is at the top of your calendar next to the month. Where is the year? There it is, excellent. Now looking at your calendar, please tell me what yesterday was. What was yesterday? Yesterday's date was the 18th. So that means yesterday was, was yesterday Monday or Wednesday? Looking on your calendar, yesterday was the 18th. It was Monday, very good. Now, if today, yesterday was Monday, what is today? What is today? Yesterday was Monday, so what is today? Today is Tuesday. Very good. And what's today's date? Today is Tuesday. What is today's date? Look on your calendar for the answer. Today is the 19th because yesterday was the 18th. Very good. And if today's the 19th, what comes after 19? Tomorrow will be the 20th. Good job. And tomorrow will be, what's tomorrow going to be? Wednesday. Excellent. What season is it? I don't know, it's been getting pretty cold. It feels like fall, but it's not. What season is it? It is spring. Good job. Now, looking outside the window, my neighborhood is cloudy and cool. I want you to look outside your window and tell me what is the weather? What is the weather like outside your window? Is it cloudy? In your neighborhood? I have another question for you. What is May's number? What is May's special number? Which one is it? Do you remember from yesterday? It's the bigger of these two numbers and it's on the bottom. So if it's on the bottom and it's bigger, it is the number five. Five is bigger than four. Good job. Please get out your math packet. We're going to go over who am I. So now this is a nice review about coins. So we're looking for a coin that is worth 50 cents, a dollar, five cents, a dollar, 25 cents, and 50 cents. This is going to be a great review. But before we do that, let's review the coins and their value. So what coin is this? This is a penny. And a penny is worth one cent. This is a nickel. And a nickel is worth five cents, right? Penny is one cent. Nickel is five cents. This is a dime. And a dime is worth 10 cents. 
This is a quarter, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. This is a very big coin, and it is a half a dollar, and it is worth 50 cents. And this is the Sacagawea coin. How much is this coin worth? Do you remember? It is worth one dollar. Who am I? Circle the correct coin. Reminder. Please put your name and today's date on your paper so that you get credit. Okay, I am worth 50 cents. Am I a quarter, a half a dollar, or a Sacagawea coin? Which one is worth 50 cents? Can you find the half a dollar? I'll give you a hint. It is in the middle. It is in the middle, so it would be this one. So let's circle that. That is worth 50 cents. Good job. The next one, number two. I am worth a dollar. Is it the Sacagawea coin, a nickel, or a quarter? It is the Sacagawea coin, which is the first coin. So let's circle that. I am worth five cents. Is it the quarter, the half a dollar, or the nickel? Which one of these is worth five cents? If you guess the last coin, which is the nickel, you are correct. I am worth a dollar. Is it the nickel, a quarter, or the Sacagawea coin? Which one is worth a dollar? The first coin, the second coin, or the last coin? We're looking for the Sacagawea coin, which is the last coin, and it is worth a dollar. Very good. I am worth 25 cents. Is it the quarter, the nickel, or the Sacagawea coin? Which coin is worth 25 cents. That would be the first coin, which is a quarter. I am worth 50 cents and I am the biggest of the coins. Am I the Sacagawea coin? Am I the half a dollar? Or am I the nickel? Which of these coins is the biggest or the largest coin? It is the second coin that is in the middle. Very good. That is worth 50 cents. You did great with that. Now I would like you to get out your neighborhood packet. And we talked about how neighborhoods change. Let me just make sure I'm on the right page. I am not. Okay, here we go. Neighborhoods can change in many ways. People move into the neighborhood or move away. Houses are fixed and painted. Look at the picture of this house. Put an X on things that need to be fixed. Circle what you would fix first. Well, let's take a really good look at this house. It looks like what you would call um, in the real estate business, a fixer-upper. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to this house. So let's put an X on things that need to be fixed. So I see, I see a shutter that's off. That needs to be fixed. So we'll put an X there. It looks like the window is boarded up. So we need to put an X there. We gotta take that board off. I think this is a mailbox and it's very crooked. It looks like it's almost falling off. So let's fix that. And I see some debris that's around the yard. Um, debris would be garbage, things that we don't want. So let's, where do you see garbage? 
I see recyclable garbage. So the first thing that pops out is the newspapers. They are recyclable. There's a tire. We might be able to use, uh, use that to make a swing. That's recyclable. And this board, we have to move that, but we can use that board for something. Okay, so it looks like we did a lot of um, renovating to this house and finding out what needs to be done. Circle what you would fix first. What, are the, what would you fix first? I think the very first thing I would do um, is I would pick up the garbage. That's the very first thing that I would do. Okay, great job. Now, I want you to turn the page. The family fixed the old house. Write a C on all the things they changed. C is for change. So let's look very, very carefully. Now you have this paper, so I need you to look at yours so I can look at mine. Um, what did they fix? Well, they fixed the windows. They fixed the mailbox. They fixed the garbage. They did a lot, right? They did the landscape. I'm going to put a big C on the whole house because they did everything. And now it looks very nice. So when you think about your neighborhood, um, are there places in your neighborhood that have changed, houses that have changed? Sometimes you'll notice a for sale sign on a house. Um, people, new people will move in and fix up the house. Um, sometimes you'll find new buildings. Sometimes you'll find houses that were knocked down or buildings that were knocked down. Sometimes you'll find new stores. Okay, great. So tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, Thomas Edison and you're very familiar with Thomas Edison because we have spoken about him um, before. We are also going to do the next page in your math packet. I know this looks familiar. I had to look at it twice myself. Pop for a dollar. But this time we're not looking for Susan B. Anthony coins. We are looking for a dollar bill. And you will need your calendar tomorrow. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.